We ought to be asking you the same thing. How'd you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. You three came in through the blue door, right? And which room did you go into? Bee Garden? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You want to have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. So? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses, and even repair certain injuries. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Uh, hey! You wanna start something, lady? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Yeah? According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were... We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up... That's it. Then they could be anyone. Well, anyone but you. Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. It freezes at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Oh man, you fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend.
They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really, how could anyone believe something so ridiculous? The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I could see her doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look! Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think... I'd bet on it. Look, they've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. So the next set of doors are... They haven't all been the same color before. Well, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Oh, thank goodness. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, we must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him. 
but his condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Quark! Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself! Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? Then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. You son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. Luna? Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Yes, I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh no. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. No. He can't... How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible! There must be something we can do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Yeah, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but... Theo's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. 
There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine, but nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Oh, God. He's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. <laughs> No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... How? Like... This! Yeah, right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Oh, right. Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're Soparil Beta. Soparil? That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay, let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right! No! Stop! Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Yes. 
What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? You shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes. At least, I think so. <laughs> What are you doing? going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults. Children. Everyone. Everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here!